Now what I've made up here is the heater, emergency heater. And this can also be used for cooking in a cooking stove. So how did I make it? Now this one is made with the simple jute string, which you get in the dollar store, a can, tin can. In the tin can, I have put up oil and I have dipped this in oil and put up there and put the top part on fire, right? So it's basically a tin with this one inside and the top part on fire. So you can use this both as an emergency heater outside and for cooking, emergency outside, outdoor cooking. Now, how do I control the flames? I control the flame with, if you see on the top up here, with a simple penny. You take a look up here, there's a penny. So you can move the pe penny around and then you can control the flame. So if I move it a little bit this side, the flames will increase. So that's how you control the flame. And how to switch it off is very easy. It will never catch fire, but still you have to be careful. All you have to do is tilt the wick inside the oil. So the oil itself is the extinguisher. So you tilt the wick inside the oil and the fire will go off. Right, so all you have to do is use this scissor so your hand doesn't burn. And if you see, if I tilt this, the fire will switch off. Or you can cover it with a lid, any steel lid, like this one, just cover it, and then the fire will switch off. If not, add a few drops of water on the top, the fire will switch off. So now this one is, is the longest burning stove and heater. It will burn approximately for like uh, 72 hours continuous depending on the amount of oil you put and the other part you have to uh, always see is that the wick is just above the oil if the wick is if the oil is too low then the wick burns too much and there's smoke so as of right now if you see in this emergency heater and cooking stove there's no smoke there are very little smoke zero smoke so this is uh, a pretty handy heating device cooking device uh, uh, use it at your own risk um, as usual be whenever you have start a fire you have to take care of it and use it carefully and in a proper manner so all I have done is once again tin can with a jute wick inside and then I'm controlling the flame with the pennies up there so any tin can will do and as usual be safe whenever you use fire you have to be safe thanks for watching